it's not Xi Jinping who's sending our communities up in smoke. Right now, you go to an American city, San Francisco especially, good grief, you can barely walk into that city, Chicago, DC, Los Angeles, New York, crime is spiking, disorder is spreading to the point now where people will just regularly go into drug stores, go into convenience stores, and they'll just go in, they'll have a bag, or sometimes they'll even have one of those gigantic, like 60 gallon uh, trash bins. They'll drag them in and they'll st- start emptying the shelves, put them in. And because our, our justice system has been so perverted and corrupted, the shop owners are not really allowed to do anything about it. They just have to call the police. The police don't come. It's too much crime. And the people just get away with it. And as a result of this, people can't walk down the street in safety and the shops have to close up shop. Well, there's a video just went viral of some thug, some just ordinary street thug, walks in with a giant trash bin into a convenience store and he just starts emptying out the cigarettes. You know, it's, it's just like in uh, Les Miserables trying to steal a loaf of bread to feed your family. No, I don't know. I don't think this guy needs 200 packs of cigarettes to, you know, survive until another day. Well, the shop owners initially say, you can't do anything. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. But then, no, nope, there we go. Then what looks like an immigrant comes over. As one of the guys holds, holds the robber down, this, this immigrant comes over and just starts beating him with a stick. It's a broom handle or something. <laughs> this might be the perfect beatdown I've ever seen. And it's the perfect beatdown I've ever seen because the guy didn't shoot him, didn't kill him, didn't stab him. He's not bleeding out or anything. And even the guy holding the stick, he's just not cracking the guy in the head. He's not giving a, him a concussion or brain damage. He's just, he's just caning him on his legs and on his torso. Nothing is going to leave a really lasting injury here, but it is going to leave him a lasting lesson, I hope. And why is this video so shocking? These kind of robberies go on in cities all over the country all the time. Why is this one so shocking? Because our political establishment says, hey, if you, if you rob a shop, you're going to be let off the hook. You probably won't even get a slap on the wrist. If you loot during the George Floyd riots for months, coast to coast, yeah, you'll just get your charges dismissed. But if you ever try to stop a robber, we're going to throw the book at you. We're going to charge you with murder. We're going to send you to prison for the rest of your life. And so people rightly who understand the way that our two-tier justice system works, they say, look, I don't want any part of that. Steal my stuff, steal my cigarettes, shut down my shop. I don't want to go to prison because of this two-tiered perverted justice system. But then you see this guy with the turban. The turban is the indication to me that this fella, this shop worker is an immigrant in New York. This guy, I don't think he's totally familiar with liberal decadent American culture, the culture that says robbers can do whatever they want, but property owners can't. So this guy looks at him, he says, hold on, get over here. And the guy filming, he says, no, man, you can't do anything. We got to wait for the cops to come. You're not allowed. No, you don't understand, man. You can't. And the guy with the turban, he says, uh, no, I don't think so. Hold that guy. And then, so the other, the other person holds the guy down. He starts beating him with a stick. Immigrants have much to teach us. Right now, text Knowles to 989898. We are days away from the Durban Accords, the greatest threat to the U.S. dollar's global dominance in the past 80 years On August 22nd, BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are expected to announce the launch of a new international super currency fully backed by gold or other commodities. This is part of their long-term plan to supplant the U.S. and the dollar as cornerstones of the global financial system. You can protect your IRA or 401k from the fallout from this landmark announcement by diversifying with gold from Birch Gold. Historically, gold has been a safe haven in times of high uncertainty, which is right now. When currencies fail, Gold is a safe haven. How much more time does the dollar have? Protect your savings with gold. Birch Gold has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Thousands of happy customers. Text Knowles, Canada to 989898. Get your free info kit on gold. If a central bank digital currency becomes a reality, it will be nice to have some gold to depend upon. Text Knowles, Canada to 989898. You know, the liberals say, we, say, we have so much to learn from the immigrants. Well, if I finally agree. You're right. Because in whatever country this guy's from, I prom- I don't know what the country is. I don't know when he came here. I promise you, whatever country that guy is from, they don't just let robbers come in and take your cigarettes. There is 
there is a natural impulse for justice. And if the cops aren't going to provide it, and if the prosecutors aren't going to provide it, and if the political establishment's not going to provide it, then we're going to have to provide it ourselves. That's what that guy, that's the idea that that guy is expressing by, by beating the robber very politely, very uh, considerately, I think, with the stick. We have to do it. We live in a political order right now that forgot about justice. And so the, the issue runs a lot deeper than just letting some criminals go in and steal your, your packs of cigarettes. A political order that says there is no such thing as justice, there's no such thing as right and wrong beyond what we say it is. A political order that says that marriage isn't really what marriage is. Political order that says that men are not really men and women are not really women. A political order that says that up is down and black is white. and That perversion of justice is going to spread everywhere. This is why in New York under Giuliani, probably the best mayor in the history of the city, New York, they pursued broken windows policing. Broken windows policing said, we're not only going to go after the toughest, not only are we not going to let the criminals off the hook, we're not only going to focus on the most egregious crimes, we're going to focus on the most minor crimes. We're going to focus on a broken window because when there's a broken window in your neighborhood, that's going to attract criminals like moths to a flame. They're going to say, oh, there's disorder here. Okay, we can wreak havoc. You've got to, you've got to focus on that. This is why Giuliani went in. He didn't cl- clean up the nice neighborhoods. He cleaned up Times Square, which was a degenerate neighborhood. He turned Times Square into Disneyland, and he did it to send a message. This city is going to focus on justice. And once again, we were talking about this with Justin Trudeau. When, when disorder seeps in, it's like rayon in the air. You know, it just, it just... Is it rayon or radon? One of them is made to make cheap t-shirts. One of them is a gas that poisons your family. I forget. Whichever one it is, it's in the air. It poisons you without you even recognizing it. Okay? And much like that, when one insists upon a principle of justice, that's going to spread throughout the air too. And people are going to behave a lot better. It's, it's, politics is not rocket science. It's not theoretical physics. Okay? If you just encourage good things and discourage bad things, you're going to get a better society. Boy, what a great clip that was. Now make sure that you subscribe to the Michael Knowles Show YouTube channel. See you next time.